Well, greetings. Uh, this is an interesting uh, woofer that I, I have developed uh, from specific, JBL specific parts. Uh, I call this my uh, 2246H no rot subwoofer. And what I've done, and it's become uh, pretty popular and it performs quite well. So it's a 2245H frame. Uh, it also works with the 2240 frame, which I think this one is. Or 2240. But anyway, the 2240 frame and the 2245 frames are identical. So what I've done is taken a 2241 style cone that has the higher excursion accordion cloth surround. Because what happens with the 2245 is the foam surround rots after about 10 years and it has to be done again. So I've, I've applied aquaplaws to the back of the cone to give it the uh, correct moving mass to get down to 20, about 20 hertz free air resonance. It's using a 2245 style uh, voice coil, which is an inch, uh, an inch edge wound copper. And let's see what she does. So. This. Uh, let me adjust some things here. I put it up on a tilt so the vent doesn't get uh, blocked. But what we have is 10 volts of about 10 volts, almost 11 volts of test voltage on the sweep generator. So what are we looking for? For free air resonance, it's going to be the minimum current draw. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here we have... That's at about 40 hertz. So as we as we lower the frequency, we look for the minimum current draw. And we find it Right there, you see on the sweep generator, it's about 25 hertz, but it's not broken in yet. So this fulfills uh, two applications, because one of the problems, let me turn that off, one of the problems with the 2245 subwoofer in a live sound situation was with the foam surround, the voice coil would often get uh, driven out of the gap not to mention you know out out in the elements the foam surround would rot so what this does is it maintains the low frequency of the 2245 in these older frames 2245 and 2240 but it gives the output the low frequency output of the 2245 without rotting and the cloth surround helps give some extra added damping and breaking of the cone assembly because this thing will literally move. <laughs> so we go up here, see how much voltage we can put through it. This carver PM120 amp is going to be limited in what it, what it can do before it starts to get stressed. But, I mean, there's, that's 20 hertz, 25 hertz, there's 20 hertz. That baby is moving. That's at 20 volts. So it will, it will pound low. It will pound low and pound loud. 
So anyway, these are going to a church uh, for in time for Easter Sunday. Uh, but this is really an excellent choice and upgrade because it it kills two birds with one one stone. The uh, the twenty two forty doesn't have the low end of the twenty two forty five because it has a shorter voice coil. As a matter of fact, here's the cone assembly that came out of it, which is that's a three quarter inch voice coil winding. The twenty two forty five is a, a one inch winding, so it's got more excursion. Uh, so anyway, this is a speaker that will last a long time and uh, be great for the B460 subwoofer, home subwoofer, plus live audio, DJ systems will give plenty of low end down to 20 hertz uh, for live sound. All right, there we go.